in this session we talk about the on off control so now regarding the on off control take the example of a simple tank process that you are trying to maintain the level of liquid in the tank and you are using a valve that can have only two settings meaning that either it can be turned on completely that is 100 percent open or it can be turned off that is it's zero percent open now in that case how will this controller will operate or how the level will be maintained suppose look at the feedback diagram for the same process currently suppose the level is at the desired value this is the set point and level is at the desired value and the controller the control valve is fully open now when the valve is open the level will keep on rising now when do you want the valve to be closed so suppose if you have a setting here suppose some 20 unit so you may have some tolerance that okay when it goes to 21 unit you wanna close the valve so the level will go up like this and at this point you want the valve to turn off because the level has crossed the desired value so when the valve turns off the level will start to drop now when the level start to drop at what point you want the valve to turn on again suppose you have a tolerance level here so when it goes to 19 so you want the valve to turn on again so the level comes here and at this point you want the valve to turn on again so the valve will turn on and when it turns on you will have again the level will go up and it will come down so it have some oscillation in the level itself and the valve will keep on turning on and turning off now if you do not want the level to go far away from the desired value in that case what you can do you can reduce the level of tolerance so if you do that so previously so it was changing from 19 to suppose 21 and now one you want it to be less suppose when it goes below 20.5 you want the valve to turn off and when it goes below 20 19.5 you want to turn it on so if you do that you'll see go here and the at this point it will on turn off and when it comes back here at this point it will turn on again so if you set this tolerance to be between 20.5 and 19.5 you see that the level will oscillate between this range but what will happen the frequency of this valve turning on and off will be more so if you want this level to maintain within a what is called this narrow band you'll have the valve will turn on and off more frequently so what is the problem with that is that turning on the on and off the valve very frequently will cause mechanical wearer tear of the final control element now to avoid that you may want to increase the level of tolerance so what you can do 
if you can tolerate between suppose 22 and below here it's something like 18 so instead of 25 and 19.5 you want a wider band so you'll have the level to go up and down so for the valve its frequency of changing from on to off will be less but the band over which the output will be changing will be more now in the same way you can think about the room heating system suppose you want the temperature to be at some value 15 degree centigrade and if you can tolerate between suppose 16 and 14 so in that case your heater will be turned on and off frequently so if you want to avoid that you can have a wider range of tolerance so suppose between 20 and 10 if you do that your heater turn turning on and off frequency will be much less but the temperature variation will be much higher so you see that for the on off controller one thing is that the output is never at never steady at the set point value rather it oscillates between the oscillates around the set point between the upper limit and the lower limit which is called this bandwidth and if you want the bandwidth to be narrower the turning on and off of the controller will be more frequent if you can tolerate a wider band in that case the turning on and off will be less frequent but the variable will be away from the desired value so this is the problem with the on off controller and you can think about that in this way you cannot really operate many processes suppose you, when you are driving do you think that you can operate your car using an on off controller 